Hello, this is the tutorial for the Cplot plugin. Uh, first I'm gonna show you how to make the rendered images uh, with the Honeybee and Ladybug plugin. So I've defined a model space in Rhino and defined the Honeybee surfaces and a uh, definition of the weather and location. So I'm gonna show you how to make the image based simulation. plug in the sky file and uh, the camera type it's important and it's set to be the fisheye camera type so just gonna make the panel set that to one and we need to define the image width and height um, set to be 600 So the way um, the image are taken, it's taken from the uh, Rhino's uh, viewport. So we're gonna make a comfort mannequin to determine the location and view direction. And he needs a rotation angle and a body location for this type of simulation. So we're gonna select the floor surface and then make a mesh plane with this surface as a boundary and just define the width and height as a 3 by 3 mesh So, and we're gonna locate the mannequin in each of the center point of the mesh. So, place normal. Um, and use the, uh, the the script I've made uh, to get the center points in a correct order. So, I'm gonna put this in here, and then. Just choose a list item and a slider from 0 to 8, each of the 9 points. And we can just plug that into the body location. So when I slide this, then he'll be positioned in the center point. This rotation angle is defined just a um, number slider with a special expression so that we can rotate the body mannequin and the view direction. So now we're just gonna set the, the perspective view and we're gonna use the list item to find the mannequin's uh, face. This is gonna the view direction, so I'm gonna put this in and set this to this, was, which is his uh, face. So you can see here that this is his uh, face, and we're gonna this and plug in the centers and the face normal for the mannequin's face. So, and as you can see, if I scroll on this, then it will rotate the view. So, in order to make the Simulation run automatically. We're going to use this batch run component and put the sliders for the position and uh, rotation angle. And just going to put a button 
we to stop the simulation. And when we're gonna need a run statement analysis. So this one. Then we're gonna plug in the image based simulation analysis first P into this and the honeybee surfaces into this one and a toggle to run the simulation and then we're gonna need a directory to where we're gonna put the images in this case I want to put them over on my C drive this one so and the it is it's important to name the images correct. So I'm gonna make take this uh, cluster and put in the position and rotation. And as you can see, this is called image zero zero. But if we just change the view direction. Uh, and location and we're gonna get a different output so this is what the images are called so we're gonna put this into this one so I'm gonna press um, this one to true and then the analysis will be starting I'm just gonna take uh, the first one zero zero just gonna pause the video for a bit. So just take a few seconds to take the first one and then we can press the fetch run button and it's gonna ask us if we want to continue and we're gonna say yes. And this simulation will take a little while so I'm just gonna pause the video once again. So now the uh, images has been made my C folder uh, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Zebra plugin. We're gonna find the one oh, Evogla and this needs a toggle and an image directory. So we're gonna use the same as we defined here, where the pictures are. So, and just connect a other component to this one, as this kind of just translates the output from where we run the book out. Connect the rotation angle and the number of lists, so you can choose which output you want, and connect this to a panel. So uh, once I turn this on, it's going to be a while, so I'm just going to pause the. So now the uh, component has finished uh, calculating and we can then see the results in this panel and just like choose different rotation angles and get the results from those and then we can choose different outputs from uh, the program Elgla to uh, be shown in the panel. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the relative contrast uh, script and so that's the transformation uh, script. Uh, the reason why we use this, these two transformation script is that the result from 
these are giving as a string so we just uh, split this up and get the results for different rotation angles and uh, points. So I'm just gonna use the same image directory for this one to find the rotation angle to be shown and the true false argument. So this component just calculates the relative contrast in the fisheye images from each picture. Pixel. Um, just gonna set this and just uh, press true and pause the video. So now the relative contrast component has finished uh, running and we can plug in a panel to show the result for each rotation angle. So we can use the slider to get the different results from different angles. Um, but we can also visualize the results in uh, the Rhino view part. So just gonna bring in this cluster I've made. This consists of native uh, grasshopper components. So we're gonna use the values as a list and the surface. So we're just gonna take the floor surface. This preview of off and this off. So now we can see the results for the relative contrast. So in this case, it means that the, as you can also see in this panel, that the highest value is found in point zero, which is here, and the green areas show where there is a small relative contrast and the red area shows where there is a high relative contrast in the images. And we can just scroll on this uh, rotation angle slider and see where we get a high relative contrast um, for each rotation angle. So if the view direction is in a zero rotation angle and so on. And this can also be done for the uh, Evoclar output. So we can see where, for example, there's a high TGP value for the, for the location and uh, an angle. So we can just plug that in here. So this just gives an overview of where in the room and in which view direction there could be a problem with the visual comfort. Yes, so I'm going to finish the video and thank you for watching.